Good evening and Merry Christmas. My name is Michael and I'm on staff here at First Presbyterian and we just want to welcome you to our Christmas candlelight service. This year has not been what we've expected. There's been stress and uncertainty and adjusting to a new normal. But even despite that, we hope in the living God we have been waiting in exile for Christ to come. And Christ has come, a baby born in a manger. And we're so glad that you're joining us this evening to celebrate that. Now this service is a little bit different than what you may be used to on our Christmas Eve celebration. You all are watching at home and one way we'd love for you to interact with us is to take a picture of your family worshiping together and to post that onto Facebook or Instagram and to tag FPC Christmas so that we can collect all of these photos of all of our families worshiping together so that we can know that even though we are separated by distance, that we're united and worshiping the one true God. Friends, this evening, if you feel the spirit moving in your hearts, if you feel connected to Christ, we hope that if you're new with us, that you'll connect with our church. We'd love to know you and to, to live alongside you on your journey. If you'd like to connect with us, you can visit fpclebanon.org connect and fill out a connect card and someone on staff will contact you and make sure that, that we get to know you and that you become connected with our ministry. So friends, Merry Christmas, and we do hope that you enjoy the worship service. Bill, what candle are we lighting today? Today we light the light candle. Oh, it's the Christ candle. It reminds us that Christ came into the world to save us. Hear the words of the prophet Isaiah. The people who walked in darkness have seen a great light. Those who lived in a land of deep darkness, on them light has shined. For a child has been born for us, a son given to us. Authority rests upon his shoulders, and he is named Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. We light the four candles which have guided us through this season of Advent. Finally, we light the Christ candle to rejoice in the birth of our Savior, the light who comes into the world. Loving God, come and shine your light in the world. Let us pray together. Great, Great God of light, as you came at night when all was still, so enter our lives this night. Illumine our paths with the light of Christ's presence, that we may clearly see the way before us, the truth to speak, and the life to live for him, our Lord Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen.
the Lord a new song. Sing to the Lord all the earth. Sing to the Lord and bless God's name. Tell the good news of salvation from day to day. Let the whole creation sing for joy at the presence of God who is coming. God is coming indeed to judge the earth with righteousness and the peoples with equity and truth. Praise the Lord. Our first reading is from the book of Genesis and tells how the man and the woman sin and turn away from God. Now the serpent was more crafty than any other wild animal that the Lord God had made. He said to the woman, did God say, You shall not eat from any tree in the garden? The woman said to the serpent, We may eat of the fruit of the trees in the garden. But God said, You shall not eat of the fruit of the tree that is in the middle of the garden, nor shall you touch it, or you shall die. But the serpent said to the woman, You will not die. For God knows that when you eat of it, your eyes will be opened, and you will be like God, knowing good and evil. So when the woman saw that the tree was good for food, and that it was a delight to the eyes, and that the tree was to be desired to make one wise. She took of its fruit and ate. And she also gave some to her husband, who was with her, and he ate. Then the eyes of both were opened, and they knew that they were naked. And they sewed fig leaves together and made loincloths for themselves. They heard the sound of the Lord walking in the garden at the time of the evening breeze. And the man and his wife hid themselves from the presence of the Lord God among the trees of the garden. This is the word of the Lord. from the prophecy of the prophet Isaiah chapter 9. The people who walked in darkness have seen a great light. Those who lived in a land of deep darkness, on them the light has shined. For a child has been born for us, a son given to us. Authority rests upon his shoulders, and he is named Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. His authority shall grow continually, and there shall be endless peace. For the throne of David and his kingdom, he will establish and uphold it with justice and with righteousness. For this time onward and forevermore, the zeal of the Lord of hosts will do this. This is the word of the Lord. This is the night that we are reminded that 
Our God loves to be with us, yet too often by our choices, by our words, and even by our our silence, we choose not to be with God. So join with me now as we pray on this holy night to the one who was born to gift us with mercy and with hope. Please join with me in our prayer of confession. Let us pray. God of grace and truth, in Jesus Christ you came among us as light shining in the darkness. We confess that we have not welcomed the light or trusted good news to be good. We have closed our eyes to the glory in our midst, expecting little and hoping for less. Forgive our doubt and renew our hope so that we may receive the fullness of your grace and live in the truth of Christ the Lord. Amen. into the brokenness of our lives. Jesus brings forgiveness and peace. Thanks be to God for the gift of the baby of Bethlehem who brings joy and peace to us in these moments of forgiveness and in all the days to come. Amen. reading is from the book of Luke. In the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent by God to a town in Galilee called Nazareth, to a virgin engaged to a man whose name was Joseph of the house of David. The virgin's name was Mary. And he came to her and said, Greetings, favored one, the Lord is with you. But she was much perplexed by his word and pondered what sort of greeting this might be. The angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. And now you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you will name him Jesus. He will be great, and he will be called the Son of the Most High, and the Lord God will give to him the throne of his ancestor David. He will reign over the house of Jacob forever, and of his kingdom there will be no end. Mary said to the angel, How can this be, since I am a virgin? The angel said to her, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore, the child to be born will be holy and will be called the Son of God. Then Mary said, Here am I, the servant of the Lord. Let it be with me according to your word. Then the angel departed from her. 
This is the word of the Lord.
fourth reading is from the Gospel of Luke, chapter 2. In that region there were shepherds living in the fields, keeping watch over their flock by night. Then an angel of the Lord stood before them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. But the angel said, Do not be afraid, for see, I am bringing you good news of great joy for all the people. To you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, who is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign for you. You will find a child wrapped in bands of cloth and lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven, and on earth peace among those whom he favors. When the angels had left them and gone into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let us go now to Bethlehem and see this thing that has taken place, which the Lord has made known to us. So they went with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the child lying in the manger. This is the word of the Lord. reading comes from the book of John chapter 1 verses 1 through 14. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God. All things came into being through him, and without him not one thing came into being. What has come into being in him was life, and the life was the light of all people. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness did not overcome it. There was a man sent from God, whose name was John. He came as a witness to testify to the light, so that all might believe through him. He himself was not the light, but he came to testify to the light. The true light, which enlightens everyone, was coming into the world. He was in the world, and the world came into being through him, yet the world did not know him. He came to what was his own, and his own people did not accept him. But to all who received him, who believed in his name, he gave power to become children of God, who were born not of blood or of the will of the flesh or of the will of man, but of God. And the word became flesh and lived among us, and we have seen his glory the glory as of a father's only son, full of grace and truth. This is the word of the Lord.
gather this night on what is one of the longest nights of our year, but we gather in the darkness knowing that the light is always with us. As we read in the Gospel of John, the light shines in the darkness, but the darkness did not overcome it. And this year seems especially dark. We're not able to gather together in person as we normally do. But we are able to be here in this way. And for that, we do give thanks. We are not separated from one another. And on this night, this Christmas Eve, our joy is that in the darkness, Christ is the light. Jesus Christ is light of our world. And yes, we need those words more than ever. The shepherds were in the fields when the angels came to them with a message singing, Glory to God in the highest heaven and on earth peace among those whom he favors. As we read in the old scripture, the people who walked in darkness have seen a great light. Those who live in a land of deep darkness, on them light has shined. So on this night, amidst the darkness, we take our candles and we light them from the Christ candle. And we share our light one with another. And when you give your light away, it does not diminish but it grows brighter and brighter so that together we magnify the glory of God. Praise be to God this night and forever.
I invite you to join with me as we pray together. Let us pray. Good and gracious God, on this holy night, you gave us your Son, the Lord of the universe, wrapped in swaddling clothes, the Savior of all, yet lying in a manger. On this holy night, draw us into the mystery of your love. Join our voices with the heavenly host that we may sing your glory on high. Give us a place among the shepherds that we may find the one for whom we have waited. And that is Jesus, the Christ, the Messiah and our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. And let us now continue praying, using the words that Jesus taught his disciples to pray, saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors, and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen.
May God grant you the light of Christmas, which is faith, the warmth of Christmas, which is love, the radiance of Christmas, which is purity, the righteousness of Christmas, which is justice, the belief of Christmas, which is truth, the all of Christmas, which is Christ. Go in peace. Amen.